Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you a look that I've really been into for the past like little bit. It's summery, sort of bronzy and pretty full of highlights. So um, if you don't like that, maybe knock back on the highlight a little bit, knock back on the bronze. But this is sort of just what I've been really liking to do. Also, the light is definitely going to change and I can't help that. It is nice when the sun is out, but when the clouds come, it sort of darkens down. So hopefully it's not anything too ridiculous. And we're just going to jump into this. I'm going to try to make it not very long. My videos are so long. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry. I liked watching long videos sometimes, but I feel like all my videos are long because I can't stop talking. But that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to try to do some like fancy editing so that, you know, we can maybe save a little bit of time. But I'm just going to clip my hair back, get this like mane out of my face. And uh, yeah, glasses are off. And let's just get right into it. So I've already washed my face and everything. I'm going to bring my mirror in a little bit so if it comes in the bottom of the screen, I really can't help that, but I would like to be able to see my face when I'm doing my makeup. I'm going to use this Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Illuminate Primer. I use this a bunch, but um, I like... It does illuminate, and it illuminates enough so you can see it through your foundation. It's not anything crazy. Um, but... It's like more of a hydrating primer, like it's not silicone or slippery feeling, and it doesn't feel heavy on my skin, which is great since it's summertime and it's hot outside. Um, so I don't want anything to necessarily feel um, heavy on my skin. So that's why I've really been liking this. And like the blurring factor, I think it blurs a little bit. Not anything like, oh my god, like look at my face, you can't see anything. Um, but I think it does a little, uh, a little bit for like blurring your pores and stuff. So that is what I was using as primer. I've actually just been using this like a lot lately in general. And for foundation, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft Ivory and the shade Soft Beige, which is incredible because I have a lot of tan going on for me right now. So long story short, I can mix in some of this, which is light medium warm. And Soft Ivory isn't even the lightest color. There's a lighter color than that, which would be too light for me. So that's amazing. Um, so I'm basically just going to unscrew these and then I'm going to apply um, little bits to uh, each side of my face, sort of like intersperse the two colors and then I'm going to mix that together with my sponge. This is the Eco Tools sponge that I'm using. All right, I maybe could have gone a little bit like heavier on the darker of the two colors that I was using. Um, but that's fine because we're gonna go in with bronzer so we'll totally warm everything up. If my face looks darker than my neck, it's because it is. But my neck is way paler than like the tan I have. Like if we look at like my shoulder, you see like my shoulder compared to my face, like my shoulder's a lot darker, but my shoulder is like much, much darker than my neck. So I will be bronzing up my neck if you were curious as to what was happening. So next I'm gonna go in with the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. And I'm just going to use my finger and I'm just going to use that right under my eyes and into that hollow right next to my eye where there is also a lot of darkness. Then I'm going to go in with the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer in the shade Light Natural. Right? Yeah, Light Natural. I did a review on this if you're interested. Um, it wasn't too long ago and I can leave it up in the little eye card up there. I'm just going to put that under my eyes, and then a little bit around my nose. It's a little light to spot conceal right now, so I'm just gonna put it in those two places. So I haven't been doing this exact step, but I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm gonna just put that a little bit around my mouth, where I have some like more pigmentation because I can't use this uh, normally because it's too dark. And this is in the shade 15 Fair. It's lighter than the shade 10. Um, I'm just going to put that around my mouth and conceal any of like my the darker areas that I have around there. Next up is bronzer and I'm going to go for a liquid bronzer. My Cover FX Custom Enhancer drops in the shade Sunkissed. So this one, by now you've already seen my review on it. I really like this. <laughs> um, and I've been using it a whole lot lately. So I'm going to go for this because we are doing like more of a bronzy uh, type of look. And I've honestly been using this all the time. So I'm going to get a little bit of the product. I'm going to put two drops, like boop, boop, right on the back of my hand. That'll be more than enough to do my entire face. 
and then we are just going to go to town and maybe the sun will come back. All right, so I'm just going to dip a little bit in there and then I'm going to apply it to my cheek. Don't worry, I am going to blend this out. It is easy to blend out too, so if you, again, if you're interested in a full review, please go watch my video on it if you are interested. But I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks, um, like my cheek area, <laughs> like you see right now, and I'm also going to apply it to my hairline. I don't know how it's coming across on camera, but it might look a little crazy right now, like I put maybe a little too much bronzer on, um, but it's going to be fine, I promise, because I am going to powder my face. And to do that, I'm going to use the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Powder. I mean, I use it all the time. What's new? And I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to powder my whole face with this, I think. Um, so first I'm going to do my under eyes. I'm going to get rid of any creasing that might have happened under there my little sponge and then I'm going to powder. And I'm also going to use that powder to powder the rest of my face. Also just for some clarification if there's like any weird jumps in this video and you're just like why did that skip weird? Like why was that like a weird transition? It's because of the sun. So I'm not cutting out anything interesting. It's just the fact that the video probably got really dark. So in case you were curious. So I'm also going to use this to bake the bridge of my nose because I wear glasses and that is where my glasses sit. So I'm just going to do that a little bit. Then I'm also going to powder the rest of my face in a very sloppy manner as you can see. Next I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to do that off camera because I'm Honestly, I just don't want to sit here and film it, but I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. I'm just going to fill them in quickly, and then we'll be back, and then we'll move on to, you know, powder stuff. Bronzer, blush, highlight, that sort of thing. All right, so I wasn't recording for a hot minute. This is what's happening. Um, I did my brows just, you know, try to give them a little bit more shape. And I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Dolce De Leche. And I'm using an Eco Tools Large Powder Brush. And I'm just going to use the bronzer and just bronze my face wherever you would typically put bronzer. <laughs> All right, the sun went away for a second. So what I did was I ran a little bit of bronzer over my nose too, just a little bit, because the sun also hits there. Then I'm taking my powder brush, not with anything on it, just bare, and sort of buffing out any harsh lines in case you got a little too crazy with your bronzer. Um, just sort of making sure everything, it doesn't look like bronzer, foundation, whatever. Um, next is blush, and I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. blush palette that I can never open. For some reason, like, I think the one I got was just, like, weird and doesn't open correctly. So I literally have to, like, pry it open with tweezers. I'm not even kidding. Like, I have to, like, stick something under there and, like, pop it open. Um, this is the e.l.f. blush palette in the shade Light. So it looks like this. And I'm actually going to go in with this, like, bubblegummy pinky shade. Which I used the other day and I was like, yeah, yeah, this totally goes. Instead of using, like, a, a warm-toned blush or something that might seem a little bit more bronzy, we're gonna go with this pink one. And it looks really nice. Okay, <laughs> the sun came back. I literally just sat here just like doing nothing, scrolling on Instagram for the past like 10 minutes. All right, so next is highlight, and I'm going to use two. I'm gonna use Becca Opal, and I'm gonna use Becca Moonstone. So this one, oh, this one is Opal, and this one is Moonstone. You can see the Opal is definitely darker. Opal I cannot use anytime except for right now. So. I'm going to use both of them and it's going to be a lot because I want it to be a lot right now. So I'm going to go in with opal first. Next I'm going to go with moonstone and I'm going to put that right at the high points of my cheekbones. If you don't like this much, you don't have to use it, I promise. And I'm just going to highlight the rest of my face with moonstone. So a little bit on my chin, a little bit right above my eyebrow, a little bit on my cupid's bow. And then a little bit right on the tip of my nose as I give everyone the finger. Um, I'm also going to go back in with opal a little bit too. I love opal. I just can't use it anytime except for when I have like a good amount of tan on. Which kind of sucks because it's beautiful. Alright, next is eyes. And eyes is super simple because I really just don't even want to do anything. So I'm going to go back in with that highlight or... Whew, 
they were mixing together. With the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Kit, I'm going to go into the bronzer color that I was using. And I'm literally just running that right in the crease. And that's all I'm doing. Not with any sort of precision, but just running that right in the crease. I'm also just going to run a tiny little bit of it under my eye. Just a little bit. All right, for highlighting the inner corner and also the brow bone, I'm gonna go back in with both of my Becca highlights and I'm going to use both of them, basically just like layer them up and I'm gonna put them both on my uh, inner corner and then also on my brow bone. So last thing is going to be mascara, but also just before that, um, I was also putting these like on my eyelids. I didn't today, but like I have been in the recent past, um, just sort of taking whatever highlighter I use and just putting that on my lids if you wanted something shimmery, but I decided to not do that today. Just like an alternative if you wanted something shimmery on the lids so it wasn't all matte. But for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I'm gonna use that on my top and my bottom lashes. And then over that, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational. These are both the in the colors black, unless this is called very black. Both the blackest colors you can get. Um, and then I'm gonna layer the Maybelline on top of that. Okay, mascara's on, which means glasses go back on so that I can see. Can you? And next, or last, I guess is lips, but I know which lipstick I wanna, I know what lip color I wanna wear. It's in my purse, which means I have to open my door, go out into my living room, which is closer to where my toddler's sleeping right now. So, fingers crossed that nothing crazy happens. Let me go get my lip stuff and then we'll do that and then we'll be done and hopefully this video wasn't super long and I edited it to make it shorter but also be awesome. Okay, let me go get my lip stuff. <sighs> okay, okay, she's not awake. But okay, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Girl Lip Stylo in the shade Peacemaker. I use this constantly but like listen, it goes with what's happening right now. So I'm gonna put that on. Actually, mm, let me wipe some of this foundation off just a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna put this on. Okay, yeah, that's fine. But again, like I said, Hourglass Girl Lip Stylo in the shade Peacemaker. I love this color so much and I think it goes really well with this because it's like, it's nude, but it's also like a little bit warm, but it's not too warm and it's not too, there's a weird hair. I think I got it. Um, it's like warm, but it's not too warm and it's not too light and like chalky and weird looking. So I really think that it's just like, it goes with this. So let's take my hair down. Shake it around, fluff it out a little bit, awkwardly move some curls. My hair's been looking amazing recently, but this is going to be the finished look. Hopefully I look bronze. <laughs> you can see that. I can see it, so I know you can see it. It's amazing. Um, again, if you wanted less highlight, just like use less highlight. But I hope you can tell that this is like bronzy looking. I hope the light was okay. I waited for the sun to like come out from behind clouds until I started talking, so I was like committed. I was committed to this video. Um, but that is going to be the finished look. Again, I hope you can tell that it's like bronzy. <laughs> I hope you can tell that it's bronzy. Look at bronzy for me. If you wanted to use a different lip color, obviously use a different lip color. I did this the other day with like orange when I was in, well, not the other day, I guess when you're seeing this, it was a while ago, but um, at the beginning of the month, <laughs> at the beginning of the month, I, um, I did the same thing, but I did it with orange lipstick. Sorry, I keep touching my hair, but I'm just like, I can't stop, I can't stop messing with it. Um, but I did it with orange lipstick too, and then that was, that also looked really nice. I don't know what this piece right here is doing. But yeah, you could totally obviously pick any lip color, but I do really like this one. I've been using it pretty much constantly and I know it's gonna run out and I don't want it to run out because I don't wanna have to buy it again and I really just don't, I don't know. And also why is my hair, I took it down and now it's like trying to do its own thing. You're not allowed to do your own thing here. Don't. Don't start getting them out of your own right now. We're almost done this video. But that is going to be it for this video. Again, hopefully it wasn't super, super long and it was vaguely cohesive. But I hope you like this look. I really like it. It's easy and simple, but like bronzy and I've just been really, really liking it lately. So I hope you like this video again. What is that, like the fourth time I've said it? If you are new or just haven't subscribed yet, I will leave the subscribe button right over there for you. Please subscribe. It'll really help me out. Like actually subscribe. Like 
stick around for this. It's, we have a good time. I'll also leave my latest video up there for you if you are interested, but I hope you like this video. That's like the fifth time I've said this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.